Hi guys, it's Rob here, back with another IT 101 tutorial. And we're going to go over some terminology. So what is a computer? A computer is a programmable multi-use machine that accepts data raw, raw facts and figures and processes or manipulates it into information that we could use. Now, communication technology, also called telecommunications technology, consists of electromagnetic devices and systems for communicating over long distances. So what does online mean? Online means using a computer or some other information device connected through a network to access information and services from another computer or information device. And a network is a communication system connecting two or more computers. The internet is the longest such network. Email or electronic mail is messages transmitted over a computer network, most often the internet. Distance learning or e-learning is the name given to online education programs. Avatars are computer depictions of humans. Robots are automatic devices that perform functions ordinarily performed by human beings. Virtual is something that is created, simulated, or carried on by means of a computer or computer network, but that is almost real. And also, information technology is reducing the use of traditional money, and it is transforming entertainment and the arts. For example, we can see movies include uh, computer special effects. You know, we have the big rise of video games that's taking place. So there's a lot of ways that computers are revolutionizing, and information technology, moreover, is, is revolutionizing the entertainment industry. Now, downloading refers to transferring data from a remote computer to one's own computer. So let's take a step back there. So we have write a remote computer. Now what remote means is far away, so remote is just far away. It's basically just far away. So remote if we're if we're, you know, somewhere, this is far away from us, but then we have our own little, you know, laptop or computer here. And what we're doing when we download is we're taking see this is a download, right? Basically we're taking from the from the far away computer that has this information, it's coming to our computer. Now an upload is when we send something from our computer to the remote computer. Right, so up, we might upload something to a website, we upload it to that website server, and now that information is stored here. But then there might be something else that someone else uploaded, and we say we want to download that, and then that comes onto our computer. So now both computers have the files. We sent one file up to the server, we downloaded some other file. And that's just an example. Now, cyberspace encompasses not only online, the online world and the internet in particular, but also the whole wired and wireless world of communication in general. Now the internet, or the net, is a worldwide computer network that connects hundreds of thousands of smaller networks. These networks link educational, commercial, nonprofit, and military entities, as well as individuals. And the World Wide Web is often called simply the web or web and inter it's an interconnected system of internet computers called servers that support uh, specially formatted documents in multimedia form and later on we're going to go over how the internet right when you make a website you write it in html code and it's not really it's not really a programming language it's really a an a uh, markup language right that's so so hypertext markup language right and basically there's going to be a whole other series of tutorials where I actually go through web programming using HTML right which is for the content of the web this is for content of the web page then we have CSS which is for the style and layout of the web page so colors fonts and then we have JavaScript which is for the functionality of the web page. And there's also PHP for functionality. So when you know all of these different program, uh, you know, all these different uh, languages, basically, I, I'm hesitant to call HTML and CSS programming languages, but when you know all of these things, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, you can actually create dynamic web pages and actually, you know, be able to do some really interesting stuff with it. So that'll be about it for this tutorial. See you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.